Gobble, gobble. <laughs> Welcome to Bullcast Podcast. I'm Katie Pickler, and with me, as always, is Cord Winsett. Your very hungry co-host, Cord Winsett. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, we're kind of switching stuff up a little bit. It is Thanksgiving. We didn't want you guys to miss us, so we wanted to make sure we gave you a little nugget. So, this in a normal episode... We're just having fun about Thanksgiving. So yeah. when, you know, maybe you're switching between your first Thanksgiving, moving to your next or your third or whatever it may be, listen to this. Maybe it's a nice break and just something to talk about when you get to the next Thanksgiving. Yeah, hopefully your drive isn't going to be that long, though, because we're not planning on recording a real long episode this time. This is just uh, a little, uh, you know, a, a little, a little, a little treat to, to just keep you, keep <laughs> you listening. It's a little snack. <laughs> it's just a snack. <laughs> so... Speaking top of top five, top five. What are we gonna do for a top, Thanksgiving? Five top five Thanksgiving movies. Obviously, okay. So top five. There's not. There, <laughs> there are not ten Thanksgiving movies out in the no, world. There are not five. Not. There are not four. There is one Thanksgiving movie. Yes. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Indeed. Indubitably. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have not seen this movie, it's a John Hughes movie, which, I mean, John Hughes has made some incredible movies. Duh. This one's back from 1987. Okay. So before me. Before you. Most <laughs> indefinitely. Before you, Court? No. No. Still not far back enough. <laughs> so, I mean, this is just a great cast. Steve Martin, John Candy. Yes. It is a comedy just a train wreck, but you cannot stop watching it. Yes. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, Steve Martin's character, he is trying to get from New York to Chicago in time for Thanksgiving. And it's not that easy. I, I was doing some research about this movie and found out this actually was based off of a issue that John Hughes had really? himself. I did not know that. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't trying to get back for Thanksgiving, but he had this crazy stuff going on trying to get from New York to Chicago and had a lot of dis- things happening. And so he was able to write this script so fast because it was him. Now, I'd love to be able to see what actually really happened to him that was in the movie. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, this is just a great, great movie. You know, great little nuggets, quotes that everyone says, those aren't pillows. <laughs> not gonna ruin it for you and tell yeah, you what, what's I, going on <laughs> we're a pg podcast so i can't quote my favorite scene but if you've seen the movie steve martin having the meltdown in the car rental place is is where i is where i get my chuckles <laughs> i've often wondered if you know in tommy boy they have the whole craziness with the car scene and mm-hmm. like the car falling apart i've often wondered if kind of there was some a little bit of inspiration there was from. some similarity there there definitely was some similarity there um but uh, but yeah, I mean, you, when you see when you see Tommy Boy after the deer has absolutely shredded the car, um, and you see them driving down the road, you definitely get flashbacks to uh, planes, trains, and automobiles, which you know they theirs theirs came first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a, such a great movie, and you know, here at our office, we watch it. We either watch it the day before Thanksgiving or. That uh, Black Friday when we're, yes, yes, everyone, we're we're working for you on that day. But we may get up here and have lunch and watch that movie because it is just such a great one. It's one of David Pickler's favorite movies. Mm -hmm. I did find out a fun fact. I'm a big Elton John fan. And I did not realize that he actually was commissioned to write the theme song for this movie. Interesting. And has it done and everything. And then Paramount came out and said, hey, we want ownership of it. And Elton's like... I am Sir Elton John. I don't think so. And supposedly the song has never been released. Really? Yes. It seems like he would have let it go. Let, I mean, let it... It seems like he would have released it by now. I don't know. It, it may be one of those that if something ever happens to Elton, then it may appear. I don't know. I'm still waiting for Prince's entire catalog of songs that he kept in a vault at his house to to be released. And they hadn't let any of those out yet. So. Yeah. But so that's just check it out if you have not seen that movie. It's a great one. So if you're moving to your next Thanksgiving and uh, you know no one knows what to do or somebody's talking about politics and like, hey, let's just put on this movie. It's great. The Bullcast team told me about it. <laughs> Okay, so since we can't go through our top five Thanksgiving movies, let's do the real thing. Are you ready to debate? (laughs) Are you ready? (laughs) 
I don't know. I got I got I got beaten by a cheater in our last debate, so I'm, I'm not, not sure. A cheater. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take some some combo decisions at the end and win no matter what, just so you know. So you're pre warned. <laughs> so we wanted to do the great Thanksgiving debate because I feel like everyone has their Thanksgiving meals, their Thanksgiving traditions, and it definitely varies from person to person. I became very well aware of this as I had lived my whole life just doing mine. And then I got met a guy and became serious and had to start going to his family Thanksgivings. And I'm like, but where's this? Where's that? You don't do this. Why don't you do that? And it's just, I mean, we're creatures of habits when we come to our Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So let's start it off. Turkey. Yes, I eat turkey. (laughs) Which is the thing. Some people do ham. Some people do turkey. I can't eat ham. But, yeah, so you uh, gotta do turkey. We so, do. Our family does ham and turkey. Oh. Um, so, but I can't eat the ham. So. Uh, well, so turkey, you can fry it, you can roast it, mm-hmm. you can tofurkey it. Well, technically, you can't. <laughs> can you? Because that would be, tofurkey is is not turkey. It's well, exactly. It's That's what I'm saying. So. Like you have your options. Okay. I, I personally have not tried the fried turkey thing. I feel like mm. that's when every fireman gets on guard because they know it's going to end in a disaster and someone ends up in the hospital with third degree burns. There is a local men's group at one of the local churches that sells fried turkeys and you oh. can pick them up the night before Thanksgiving or the morning of Thanksgiving. So they're 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 at the church frying turkeys all night long and you can go over and pick them up. I think it's also if you like when you were saying that it's okay. Some people have the beautiful presented bird on the table. Yeah. You know, flashback to Christmas vacation when they cut into it. And it, <laughs> it pr- pr- yeah, dry, it's dry. Poof. Yeah. Cause or, I, I, you, the, the whole slicing turkey at the table thing. It's not something that I have ever done. Me We've either. Always been a pre-slice and and lay it out buffet style. Yeah, so. and you have it separated the dark and the light, mm-hmm. which was shocking because we always had the dark and the light at my family. When I went to my husband's family, they didn't have any dark meat. I'm like, what is this? There's no dark meat? Come on. I'm like, oh, well, you know, it was granddad's favorite to have the white meat or the light meat. And so that's just what we did. <laughs> okay, well, you're wrong. I talked to somebody. Um, <laughs> we, we do the same thing. We put the dark meat and the light meat. They're, they're, they're all shredded from the turkey and and taken put on a plate laid out for everybody uh then i was talking to somebody else who who their their family fought over who got the turkey legs who got the drumsticks oh so so somebody they would eat they one person would take one drumstick and that was their that was their thanksgiving meal they wanted the drumstick Okay. So when there's, um, you know, you have the wishbone tradition too. If people do that, and yeah, that's never been anything we've really it's done. Not been a thing we did. And uh, just for the record, I'm a light meat guy. I, I prefer the the. Well, then we could hang out together meat. on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't fight. No. Okay, cranberries. Mm-hmm. There's the big debate about you know just dumping it out of the can or having the whole fresh and homemade. Mm-hmm. Yes. I say don't eat cranberries. That's what I say. That's that's where I land on this one. I'm not a cranberry fan. I was going to say, mine is like if Aunt Becca shows up, then she's bringing in the cranberry that she's made and it's wonderful. If she's not going to get there, then it's like, okay, we'll just do the canned stuff. Yeah. I, I will, uh, I, I'll tell you what, I, I will, if I must have cranberries, I'll, I will take mine in the form of juice with a vodka. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you drink it your Thanksgiving, so that's what you could do. Okay, gravy. Mm. This is a sore subject uh, for me. I have always had the the white gravy with the giblets in it, mm-hmm. and my husband's family has the brown gravy. Interesting, interesting. That's um, okay. How the gravy is made is a is a big issue for me. Okay, um, I've always preferred white gravy. But I like my white gravy on biscuits. Uh, mm. I don't eat white gravy on my turkey. Okay. On my turkey, I like the brown gravy. Um, regardless, uh, you know, I always have white gravy. I always at, ate with uh, with with sausage in it. I've never had white white gravy with giblets in it. I don't I, I don't know what that's like. Come over to the pickler Thanksgiving. We got gotcha. you. Um, well, um, so the the thing is now I can't have sausage anymore because again, like ham, I can't have I can't have I can't I can't have of the pig. So um, <laughs> I'm kind of restricted in in what I can eat. So I'll take the brown gravy so long as it's turkey gravy and not beef gravy. Okay, okay. A big thing, and I think this is also regional, but just you can tell where people come from. So it's dressing or stuffing. Mm-hmm. 
And then with sage or no sage. Mm-hmm. So I, that's we are uh, cornbread dressing. Yes. That is ours. And I know several people that the first time I had my husband's family's dressing, it, I was like, what is that taste? And it was sage. And I'd never really had sage before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My mom and my aunt both make, they, they have a, a stuffing recipe that, mm-hmm. they, that they make. And um, they both have to make their stuffing every Thanksgiving. And so for it's a the long, battle of the stuffing? Well, it's for a long time, it was a running joke, although it's not, it's not entirely true. Um, it was a running joke that all of my mom's kids liked her sister's dressing and all of her sister's <laughs> kids liked my mom's dressing. Uh, technically, you know, actually not true. We like both dressings, but um, they we we would we would absolutely revolt if we didn't have the option of both dressings every Thanksgiving. So yeah, I mean, you gotta have your options. Now, I guess we should discuss the fact that the, the there's also the question of do you call it stuffing or do you call it dressing? And of course, stuffing. Uh, w- we had somebody that asked us what the difference was. Uh-huh. Stuffing, of course, is is usually loose. It's not it's not a casserole like dressing would be. And it's usually been cooked in the turkey. Mm-hmm. You stuff, stuff the turkey yep, with stuff it. Stuff the turkey so. and then scoop it out. Yeah. Dressing is much more what you'd picture the casserole. Yeah. Okay. Mashed potatoes or no? Hard yes. Hard no. Hard yes. I can't even believe <laughs> that this is a question. The fact that you, you don't have... You have dressing. Why do you need mashed potatoes? Because Thanksgiving is... The only protein at Thanksgiving is going to be either ham or turkey, probably. Everything else is Or if is you're starch. around my family, it's called pink turkey. Mm. We had a, we had a, one of my little cousins, and she she wanted pink turkey. Well, she was talking about ham. ham. So now it's a running you. joke. Do you want turkey or pink turkey? Okay, okay. So everything else, everything else is starch. Everything else is, is some some form of starch. So I mean, why would you limit yourself from delicious mashed potatoes just because you already have stuffing or dressing, what, whatever it is you have? There is absolutely no reason to limit yourself. Okay, you okay. should have them both. Okay, so sweet potatoes. Hmm. So they are sweet. They are very delicious. Some people do marshmallows. Some people do pecans. Yeah, I, I, until you said some people do pecans, uh, and by some people, I know where you stand on this issue because you're the only person I know that does pecans. I have always done marshmallows. See, uh, our okay. sweet potatoes always have marshmallows on them. That's just Mine have always had pecans on it. And actually, sorry, family, if you're listening, I'm spoiling alert here. We always had pecan delight. That is what it was called because if you said it was sweet potatoes, there was a bunch of family members that did not like sweet potatoes, but we all love pecan delight. Hmm. So it's a little trickery that the family teaches you. And we should also, this this is also a, a sweet potatoes or yams question, but neither, see, of, neither us, of us know yams. <laughs> neither of us have ever had yams. I don't know what, I, I, I don't, I don't know what yam. Cam's I mean, giving I, us a thumbs up, yeah. so he likes yams. Apparently Cam is a I yam I am what I am and that's all that I am. <laughs> But Katie and I are both sweet potato people, so for us, the debate came down between uh, pecans and marshmallows, and mine definitely is marshmallows. Pecans. Yeah. So, it's marshmallows. <laughs> and if you remember from the last episode, that's a, that's a conversation starter. If you want to ask people, how do you pronounce pecans, pecans, whatever you yeah. want to do. <laughs> and the last kind of debate thing is the desserts, mm-hmm. the pies and all of that. I yeah. think, you know, everyone brings those, but are you a pumpkin or are you a pecan pie? Um, okay, so interesting little thing about me. Um, neither, um, <laughs> but also uh, I, I I just generally I don't eat dessert a whole lot. I, I'm not a big dessert eater. I, I do. There are some candies that I like, and so I'm not like no sweets. Sweets are bad, but I just I don't I don't very often eat dessert. Um, so when it comes dessert time, everybody else is like, "Oh, do you want this dessert? Do you want this cake? This pie? What do you want?" And I'm like, "Nah." I don't want. So can somebody grab me a beer? Um, <laughs> Your dessert is in the form of alcohol. That's what that is. <laughs> I mean, in reality, you are so stuffed from the good food you've had that dessert yeah. is more of like in the middle of the afternoon. But then if you have to go to multiple, it's what do you decide? Yeah. I'm, when do you have this? And I had a friend that she had to go to three Thanksgiving. And she goes, oh, well, you have you know, your turkey at one and you have your dressing in all of the sides at another and then you have dessert at the other one. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is where you try everybody's stuff and you're so miserable that you've got the meat sweats the next day. I mean, that, that is what it is. <laughs> I mean, 
Thursday, uh, Thursday you know, we do like like Katie said, we work on Friday, and I have yet to to come in to work on Friday and not be miserable. <laughs> I mean, I am every every Friday after every Black Friday, I am absolutely miserable. Um, because I'm, I'm just, I'm stuffed. I've just, I've been, I've gone to at least two different places for food. I've eaten so much that you, you know, you just can't You've even drink so many anymore. cranberries. I had, I had, <laughs> a, I had some, some cranberry. Um, there's a whole lot of reasons to hate the Friday after Thanksgiving, but I do love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I wouldn't give it up for the world. So I hope that y'all's Thanksgiving. I hope it's a great one. I hope you Enjoy have a great it. one. I hope uh, if you are if you are actually listening to us on Thanksgiving Day, I hope it's because you're in the car driving to what is going to be a spectacular Thanksgiving. Um, but for now, I think uh, Katie and I have said hello, said happy Thanksgiving. So you know what we've done? We've given you enough to be going on with. Yep. Y'all have a great Thanksgiving day. I'm Court. I'm Katie. And we're going to go eat.